It's a shame that the Courtois company stopped making trumpets like this a few years ago. I can't remember exactly the year they stopped making trumpets, but uh, we have this horn in stock and it's just a wonderful specimen. Uh, this is Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. If you don't know our channel, thanks so much for spending a few moments with us and hit that subscribe button wherever it might be to stay updated with us. We have so many horns. In fact, hold on, I'll show you. So many horns. This is just one room of five with horns that are available at the shop. Sorry for that shaky camera. The Courtois Elite Series was one of their top of the line trumpets. Uh, they also were making at the same time their Evolution horns. Um, that, those were more geared towards being uh, solo jazz horns. They had dual bells and adjustable receivers and they were very heavy. This horn has a fair amount of heft to it as well. But this trumpet was the same model that Sergei Nakaryakov played while he was a Courtois artist. Now I think he plays a AR Resonance trumpet. Um, but uh, he played a lot on this model. This is the 305, and some cool features which you'll be able to see is like, check out that, the bending of that bead. It's really unique. Um, it has beautiful finger buttons, obviously set up in the Courtois style. This is uh, a nice tapered bell with a good fast flare at the very end, but it stays pretty compact throughout. Um, a dual braced tuning slide, and a single water key. It does have a spring-loaded uh, water dump, which I think is ingenious. So if you need to get the water out, you just pull it out, but it, but it won't stop on you. So, um, so see how that locks in? I think that's really, really creative. Um, this horn is, I, I played a little bit of Nostalgia, which is a Fats Navarro tune, but let me play some standard rep for you, some uh, the things that I always play on these videos, Charlier Arbenz. I will do a little bit of Halsey Stevens as well for you. I'm using my 3CS mouthpiece. That's the mouthpiece I've been playing for the past few months. Let me turn down the mic here. It's a really versatile horn. It's very easy to play. It has good response between the registers. The articulation is nice and crisp, and I really love the feedback I get from behind the bell. Like I said, it's a little heavy. That's maybe the only detriment I have on the horn because it doesn't look like a quote-unquote heavy trumpet, like a Adams A4 or a Monet or another one of these like intervening tr sort of trumpets, but it uh, besides the a little bit more heft in in the left hand it's just just superb let's uh push it a little bit
So we'll do that too. It, uh, it, it's very crisp and it, like I said, it has really good, a really good feel to the horn and great sound behind the bell. Uh, I'll push it one more, little more thing. This is the 3CS, so it's not gonna give you super zing. Uh, it's not like my lead trumpet mouthpiece, but it will still pop when I need to. So that's a tour of the Courtois Elite 305 model we have in, I think it's, wait, yeah, it's a 305 model we have in stock for sale. Hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us. Thanks so much for your great support of ACB. We couldn't do it without you. And we have so many horns waiting for new homes. Come find them sometime at ACB. Cheers.